all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester here with your beginner's guide to Conan Exiles 2022. And I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player, but this is also doable on the PC. Now today I'm going to show you how to get Silk without getting Gossamer or going near a spider, seeing a spider or killing a spider. Yeah, for those of you who uh, find spiders a little uh, unnerving and yeah, you don't want to deal with them, this is an ideal way for you. So let me show you how you do it. Now the first way that you can do it is by looting chests in Supermaru. And they will drop silk, but it's not that often, but it is doable. And uh, I'm right outside Supermaru. This is where I built my base. So let me show you where I am on the map. Got a bit of a lag here. So here I am right over here, and this is all of Supermaru. And there are many, many chests that you can loot for free in Supermaru. You just need to go look for them, and I find that a lot of fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah, and you get all manner of things from these chests, all kinds of drops. So uh, one of the best things for silk, and I store them in here, is the Relic Hunter armor. Yeah. So I have the pants, I have the turban, I have the boots, and yes, I do have a few uh, gloves here. So let's grab some of these. And let's go over to our dismantling bench. Now to get this, you need to be a level 37. And if you go into your feats and scroll over to your survivalist, go down to stone tools and that's where you will find your dismantling bench. Now again, this requires level 37 and it also requires that you are able to make the steel pick. So once you've done that, you want to open it up and all you have to do is drop in a piece of armor. Now this only works with armor that is made from silk to begin with. Now at this level, uh, the only two that I know of are the Shemite and the Relic Hunter armor. So as you see from that one piece, I got three pieces of silk because what the dismantling bench does is reduce whatever item you put in there uh, to what it took to actually make it. And this is what makes this so awesome. And like I said, the Relic Hunter uh, armor is a very frequent drop in the chest. So you want to be sure that you save those until you are able to make this dismantling bench so that you can make your silk. So as you can see, I already have eight pieces here. Now probably some of these other items don't make quite as much as the chest piece. Let's see how many of the pants make here. Oh, yeah, they made three. They did three as well. Let's see if these make the same. Yeah, absolutely. So you can uh, gather a lot of silk quickly doing that. The other way, and I have to give a huge shout out to Gray OK. He left a comment in the video I did for getting named thralls in Supermaru. And when I got this and named Tanner, uh, yeah, he showed me how to get silk with this guy. So thank you so much for that, Gray OK. I'm going to pass it on to everyone in this video. Now, as you can see, I'm at the artisan table with this Tanner. And let's open it up. And I got Inigo the Vengeful. Yes. And as you can see, as well as being able to make all the things that you can normally make at the artisan bench, you can now also make silk. Yes, and all you need is 10 fat grubs. Now, how do you get those, you wonder? Well, <laughs> you have to make a compost heap. And again, you go to your feet for that. And to make compost, you need um, plant fiber, you need putrid meat, and you need bone meal. Now, you've probably been wondering right along, what do I do with putrid meat? Well, this is what you do with it, because not only does it make 
compost for you, but the byproduct is also fat grubs. Yeah. So uh, these also have a uh, timer on them. As you can see underneath uh, the fat grub on the left hand side, it expires in six minutes. It's ticking away. So you want to have to babysit these a little bit in order to make your silk, but that's, that's fine. And then you're probably wondering, how do I make bone meal? Well, to make bone meal, you need the grinder and you also get this in your beets. And in order to do that, you need to put in bones. Now you can also put in skulls and horns, but I don't recommend putting your horns in there unless you're absolutely sure you're not going to need them because sometimes those are required for armor. So uh, uh, to start with, I would only put the bones in there. So you want to activate that. And as you can see down in the bottom left, I am making bone meal. Yeah. And it makes quite a bit. Yeah. So let's grab some of those and add it to our compost here. But I don't have many in there. All right. So again, I'm making compost and as I do, as I do, it will increase the amount of grubs I have in here. So let's grab some grubs. And we're going to pop them in here. And now we're going to scroll over to the silk and as you can see, I don't quite have 50, so I can't make 5, but for every time 10 grubs, you will get one silk. So we'll go ahead and go for the four. And that will, of course, take 40 grubs. So yeah, a little more time consuming, I think. But probably in the long run, by the time you make runs for uh, looting the chest in Supermaru, these two probably even out, with the exception of trying to get the named thrall in Supermaru. That's very chancy. Uh, but I got him the first time around, lucky for me. So yeah, yeah, that's the three ways that you can do it, guys, without ever having to confront a spider. Yeah, and a lot of people uh, have a fear of spiders, so that this is a big put off for them. So yeah, this is all you need to do. Well, all right, guys, if you found this helpful, please give me the big old like. And if you'd like to see more guides on Conan Exiles 2022, just Hit that little bell and you'll be notified when I post my next guide. Well, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching and until next time, GG out.